Hey folks, um, I thought I'd make a video on uh, Puppy Linux. I've um, been playing around with it for a couple of weeks now. Uh, this is on a um, Aspire 1, Acer Aspire 1 netbook. Uh, and I this is Puppy Linux 525, which is the pretty much the latest one. I know they they have another one coming uh, or it's out already. But anyway, I just wanted to show you uh, a few things that I've done so far with it. Uh, I find it a lot of fun. Uh, first, I changed the uh, wallpaper. This is a wallpaper from Puppy Linux 431, I believe. And uh, I learned how to do that. And uh, over here in Puppy, you have the um, right here, Quick Pet. You have the uh, choice of different programs. I downloaded this uh, tiny desktop widgets. The widgets, and here's what I have on there. I have one task. So I got to pay the city tax in the next few days, which they should they should lower it with the uh, way properties have gone down in value uh, but anyway getting back to puppy uh, I also put a uh, icon on the desktop for Firefox when I first attempted it I had a little tiny icon about the size of my mouse pointer maybe a little bit bigger but somebody on the forums showed me how to resize it and there it is and I changed it from it was named Firefox Desktop, so I got rid of that and renamed it Firefox. And, uh, oh, yesterday I downloaded uh, a program uh, for video editing called uh, Vitamux. And uh, it looks like... Uh, easy to use video editing program. I, I've looked at uh, KDN Live and uh, a few of the others and they look so complicated uh, and I'm a klutz at this so I might give this one a shot. Uh, I tried OpenShot but I can't seem to get it to work on Puppy. Um, I don't know why. I know you're supposed to download Python first and then put OpenShot. I've tried it. It doesn't open. Uh, it just doesn't seem to work. I'll have to check the forums to see what I can do to get it to work. But maybe I'll give this a shot. And uh, I figured I'll post a video now and then on my progress with this operating system. I. Uh, I had a few operating systems on this Acer one. I uh, had Linux Mint 8 Helena, which I like very much. Uh, everything worked on it. Uh, I just got bored with it. I wanted to try something new. Um, and everything seems to be pretty good. A few odds and ends that didn't work right, but. All in all, I'm amazed at what this little operating system can do. And uh, I'm learning every day on it. So, uh, if you have a netbook, this might be a choice. Puppy Linux. Okay, thanks for watching.